is up you guys welcome back to another one if you were new to the channel i am gold pony and today we are in a new 2020 kia sportage courtesy of fred beans kia in mechanicsburg pa and i have yet to review a sportage in the past so i thought it'd be fun to check one out here so as always let's start with pricing and so there will be several different trim levels for the 2020 sportage first one being the lx starting at twenty three thousand nine hundred ninety dollars then the s for twenty five thousand nine hundred ninety dollars EX for $27,190 and lastly the SX Turbo the one we have today starting at $33,490 and by the way that was pricing for the front wheel drive variant if you wanted to go with all wheel drive simply add $1,500 to any of those prices unless you go with the S trim level and that one is going to add $1,700 if you wanted all wheel drive interestingly enough but there are actually two different engine setups for the Sportage and they're going to each correspond with different trim levels of the Sportage first one being a 2.5 four liter naturally aspirated inline four cylinder that one is going to belong to the lx s and ex trim levels giving you 181 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 175 pound feet of torque available at 4,000 rpm power is sent to front wheels or all wheels through a six speed automatic giving you mpg numbers coming in at 23 in the city 30 on the highway for the front wheel drive 22 city 26 highway if you went with the all wheel drive version but then there is the other one, the one that we have today belonging to the SX Turbo. And I think the turbo hints at the engine setup there. Being a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder, pointing out 240 horsepower for the front wheel drive, 237 for the all wheel drive, and 260 pound feet of torque sent to front wheels or all wheels through a six speed automatic, giving you MPG numbers 20 in the city, 28 highway for the front wheel drive, and 19 city, 24 highway for the all wheel drive. And by the way, with either engine setup, the Kia Sportage will take regular unleaded fuel, so you don't have to splurge for the high test, the premium unleaded. So that's always a nice thing as well. But so next, before we do any kind of acceleration, I did want to mention there is a drive mode button directly behind the shifter there, giving you normal, eco, and sport. And I just put it in sport mode. It like wanted to take off on me there. It did automatically downshift, holding the RPMs at a higher level, giving you more power on demand. But it's also going to adjust throttle response as well, actually. And so, but now having said that, I think it's time. Let's do a quick little acceleration in this turbocharged four-cylinder and let's see how quickly we can get the 2020 Sportage here up to speed <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> definitely no issues with merging onto the highway this turbocharged engine setup and it is a smaller SUV I guess you could say but it's quite a bit of pickup there definitely no issues with merging onto the highway in this one but to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so there will actually be a slightly different braking setup depending on the engine setup that you go with either way you will get four wheel disc brakes but if you went with the naturally aspirated engine you will get 12 inch ventilated front discs if you went with the sx turbo you will get 12.6 inch ventilated front discs so a little extra braking power for a little extra horsepower i guess that makes sense in the back 11.9 inch solid rear discs regardless of which engine setup that you go with there and as far as the braking fuel goes i've had absolutely no issues definitely brings the sportage to a quick stop on this one touching on suspension a little bit there is a mcpherson strut front suspension with gas filled shock absorbers and in the back you will find an independent multi-link rear suspension with high performance dampers as far as the ride quality goes i'm actually quite impressed so definitely no issues there soaking up pennsylvania's road imperfections quite nicely when it comes to steering feel i suppose it is as expected not the heaviest weight in the world but not the loosest either so definitely feels nice in the sportage touching on cabin noise i'm getting a little bit of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin but it's definitely not that bad and then when it comes to visibility i can see perfectly fine usually smaller suvs you're not going to have any issues there but i can see perfectly fine out the back and so but now enough with the driving dynamics let's check out the exterior of this new slightly refreshed 2020 kia sportage and so to start there's actually going to be many subtle changes for the 2020 sportage up front projector beam headlights will come standard for the lx s and ex trim levels if you want with the sx turbo that you're looking at right now you will find led headlights and all trim levels are actually going to give you led daytime running lights as well and just below all of that projector beam fog lights for the s and ex trim levels and led fog lights for the sx turbo trim level and as i had alluded to there is a new front fascia for the 2020 sportage along with a new front skid plate actually as well but so then make your way to the side you will find body colored power adjustable side mirrors for all trim levels if you want with the S trim level and up you will find heated side mirrors with LED integrated turn signals as well 
And again, with the S trim leveling up, there's roof rails up top, and there's also several different wheel changes for the 2020 Sportage as well. For the LX trim level, you will find 17 inch alloy wheels. If you go with the S or EX trim levels, you will find 18 inch alloy wheels. And when it comes to the SX turbo, bumped up once again to 19 inch alloy wheels, but then make your way to the back. Body colored rear spoiler with integrated brake light will come standard on all trim levels. Just below that, a rear window wiper. Also, LED tail lights will come with the SX turbo. That's what you're looking at right now, of course. And just below it all, there's going to be a single exhaust outlet with the LX, S, and EX trim levels, but then dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips for the SX turbo. So having said that, you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. So, but now since we are round back when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there actually is a button on the key fob. So I'm just simply going to press that. If you wanted to power lift gate, by the way, go with the EX or SX turbo trim levels. That is how you're going to get that. Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 30.7 cubic feet behind that second row. However, if that was not enough space for you, simply fold that second row down. That is going to bump that up to 60.1 cubic feet. Then make your way to the rear legroom. That's coming in at 38.2 inches. So for reference, I'm an even six feet tall. This is how much space I had back there. Also, those rear passengers will find a rear center armrest with cup holders along with rear air vents as well. Then make your way to the front seats. You will find manually adjustable claw seats for the LX. You will find leatherette seating if you go with the S or EX trim levels. And that EX trim level and up is actually also going to give you heated front seats as well. And if you went with the SX Turbo, they are power adjustable full leather seats with ventilation as well for those super hot days. Then take a look up front, there is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. It will come leather wrapped for the S trim level and up. And you will actually get a flat bottom steering wheel if you go with the S or SX trim levels. When it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here. It is kind of a heavy duty key, kind of surprised me there, definitely impressed. You will find the Kia logo on the one side and when you flip it over, lock, unlock, and of course that button to pop the rear hatch but so if you wanted to push button start simply go with the ex or sx turbo trim level and so since we do have that today that is going to be located just by the driver's right knee so all i'm going to do is simply put my foot on the brake and press that engine start button there and so once started up tachometer is going to be on your left speedometers on your right there is a small digital display front and center and that digital display is customizable by the way there are steering wheel mounted controls on the right side there so that is going to display different things like your driving mode of course but also your safety information there's a digital speedometer if you wanted it how many miles per gallon you're getting at any given time how many miles you have left until you hit empty actually as well and of course the outside temperature telling us that it is a perfect 71 degrees out today but now let's make our way to overall interior quality because with the sx turbo there's actually quite a bit but ex trim level is going to give you dual zone climate control sx turbo is going to give you things like home link controls led interior lighting all trims are actually going to give you an overhead sunglass holder and the sx turbo is also going to give you a panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade so that is definitely quite nice letting in so much more light for this video so much appreciated also that one's going to give you wireless phone charger and alloy sport pedals which is actually also going to come with the s trim level again s meaning the sportier side of things but it gets better on the interior because up front for all trim levels actually you will get an eight inch color touchscreen display and this is good because this is going to give you bluetooth and audio streaming as well is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the Sportage and you now have free navigation for all trim levels, as well as the ability to like and dislike your Pandora songs up on that screen as well. So definitely quite nice there. If you wanted factory navigation, you can go with the SX turbo trim level. And of course you could check out your radio settings up there. And so if you want with the LX, S or EX trim levels, you will get a six speaker sound system. And if you want with the SX turbo, you're gonna get an eight speaker Harman Kardon surround sound system with 320 watts and by the way that sound system is available for the ex trim level if you wanted it but you guys know what we have to do next let me go ahead and pull over here let's see what we got on the radio this morning and let's test out the clarity of this one definitely more than enough of a sound system for the sportage that's for sure good bit of bass plenty of loudness and absolutely no complaints from me on that one but so last thing on the tech display i wanted to mention to you guys is when you do put the sportage in reverse let's do that 
that is going to give you a rear view camera for all trim levels letting you know who or what is behind you which is always is going to lead me into safety and so to start there are front side and side curtain airbags also in the back there is latch aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats also standard a tire pressure monitoring system along with forward collision avoidance assist with pedestrian detection lane keep assist driver attention warning and the s trim is actually also going to add a blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert and lastly if you want with the sx turbo that is going to give you a front and rear park assist system smart cruise control with stop and go and an electronic parking brake with auto hold and so but that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next video i'm i'm being so weird today i'm sorry stay gold <laughs> whoa whoa what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Hoorah.